All right, Centennial, here we are with video number two, Forces Around Us. Reminder, uh, make sure you've got your power acronym happening and your task. Take notes. When you finish, write that summary and any questions you have as well. So a force is any push or pull. Here are the boy in red is pushing his cart, and you have the man here in gray pulling on this string. A force has a direction and a magnitude. If you think about someone pushing you, they can push you forwards or sideways, front and back, and they can give you a small push or a big push. Each push has a direction, each push has a magnitude. Some forces happen when one object contacts another object. So here the baseball player is hitting the ball with his bat. Trivia, can you name who the baseball player is? Some forces push or pull without any contact. We call these non-contact forces. Can you think of any examples of a non-contact force? You could have one like magnetism, where the magnet can pull on an object without actually touching it. There's also gravity, where we get pulled back down to the earth when we jump up in the air, even though we're not touching the ground at the time. So here the apple falls down on the scientist's head. Trivia question number two. Do you know who the scientist is? Now we're going to shift gears a little bit and talk about loads. A load is a force that acts on a structure. And we've got three different types of loads that we can sort the loads into. A dead load is a static or a non-moving load caused by the weight of the structure itself. A live load is a static or non-moving load caused by the weight of objects being supported by a structure. And finally, a dynamic load, and that's any load on a structure not caused by gravity. Okay, let's actually see it in action. Looking at the baby blue arrow. What type of load is that? It's a live load because it's caused by the force of gravity pulling down on the car that's being supported by the bridge. Okay, what about the navy blue? Those are dead loads, because they're caused by the force of gravity pulling down on the bridge. The top deck of the bridge is being pulled on by gravity and is being supported by the two columns. Okay, and what would a dynamic load be? Well, we said that a dynamic load was any load on a structure that's not caused by gravity. So, imagine if this river started flooding, say in the spring, and all of a sudden you had lots of water rushing down this riverbed. Well, the force of that water going past these pillars would push on the pillars, and that would be an example of a dynamic load. You might also have the wind coming down off this tree line and push against the side of the bridge. That would be another example of a dy dynamic load because it's not caused by gravity. It's caused by wind or it's caused by water. All right, and that's today's video. Reminder, we talked about forces and how they have a magnitude and a direction. We talked about loads. We talked about three different types of loads, live loads, dead loads, and dynamic loads. Hope you enjoyed the videos, guys. And remember to write down your questions and bring them to class.